What is going on? Welcome, everyone, and welcome to another NASCAR... <laughs> Jesus, I can't even talk. Welcome to another NASCAR Racing 2003 live stream. How is everyone doing tonight? Thank you very much for joining in. Just making sure my laptop is all set up. Once again, I apologize for being out of commission for the last few days. Just working a bunch, a wedding video gig, niece's birthday party, Father's Day today. Happy Father's Day, by the way, everyone. Alright, laptop is good. So, a while back I posted a little poll asking everyone to vote for which crash they would like to see me try to uh, reenact. Jesus. It's been a long day. I'm very tired, if you can't tell by how I look. Looking like he I just rolled out of bed. I have not seen Cars 3 Nexus Combat. I will try to get to that if I have some free time in the upcoming future. How was it? But as you can see by the title of today's video, I'm going to be attempting to recreate uh, John Anderson's flip 1981 in the duels race. I believe it was the duel race number one at Daytona Super Speedway. Let's get a little refresher. All right. I just want to make sure this switched over. All right, it did. All right, so thank you to Damus is loose for the capture. Yeah, 1981, one of the, one of the dual races. He gets loose coming down the back stretch, coming out of turn two. Flies through the uh, infield. Gets some air under the car and tumbles about five and a half, six and a half times. Lands upside down. Right in the middle of the back stretch. Anderson running in a very tight draft with the front two cars. Caution naturally on the track. I believe he was all right. And the Harry Hyde car at more than one. Yeah, you can see him moving around trying to get out. All right, so here we got a replay, and then we will get into the attempts. So yeah, just coming out of turn two. Hits the grass and lifts the inside gets and loose, the especially being behind those cars, probably aerodynamically, that maybe then pulled him around. You can see his arm hanging out of the window, but it doesn't look like it got rolled over at all. Crashing down onto the roof. Except Series right there. Alright, maybe a left the arm injury, but I don't think he was critically injured. Totally Life-threateningly injured. Anderson is all right. Holy Johnny crap. Anderson yeah, he's fine. Away from that disaster, David. Well, safe. Look at this top. Anderson walks away Look at these. From a the top four. Bobby two. Ellison, Neil there Bonnet, Ricky Rudd, Dale Anderson. Earnhardt. The glory days of NASCAR. All right. Le Mans highlights. I need to watch that. More NFL highlights. I will watch that later. All right, let's get back into the game. As you saw earlier, I'm going to be using the Cup 88 mod, which is basically the Arrow 88 with cup physics player info I'm actually gonna do this each video from now on to keep with the realism John Anderson here we have his 1981 number 77 Warren fabricating uh, is that a Buick? it's a Buick or a Chevy I believe all right, let's get into single race, Daytona 1970. We're going to be using the same version of Daytona, I believe I last tried Kale Yarborough's 1983 flip on. We have a twin. I think I put together a little makeshift car set beforehand. That's what I'm going to be using. We want it to be, I believe it was cloudy at the time. And yeah, right off the bat, you can see by the weather it is subarctic temperatures and cars would be blowing away like leaves I have the settings this way to try to get uh, the best possible chance of doing a sideways blowover and you will see very shortly these cars are gonna be traveling very fast because I want to be up to around a little over 200 maybe 210 by the time I'm getting to the backstretch because these cars were capable of doing this back then. Remember, 
Uh, Bill Elliott's 1987, was that Talladega? 1987 qualifying lap, 212. Oops, so I'm just gonna get loose behind these cars coming out of turn two. Alright, I'm up in the air. And flipping. Not quite. Not a bad first attempt, though. And yes, I have changed a bunch of track settings. Just like I said, this is a track I've used for a previous reenactment attempt, so if necessary, I will... If I need to, I will change some settings and show you guys what the ones are set at so far. Here, not a bad first attempt. But we need more barrel rolls instead of spinning around like that. Barrel rolls and end over end. So yeah, I'm probably... I don't want to go too fast because the AI cars are going around 230, 240. That's going to look a little silly, but the only reason they're going so fast... And also the reason I'm using the Cup 88 instead of just the Arrow 88. I'm trying to get the best possible chance of doing a blowover. Oops. Keep driving. I didn't think I have the grass grip turned up that much. I guess I do. I might have to turn that down a little bit. I have to turn the grass grip down a little bit. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Jesus, I'm just looking at my face cam right now. I look like a bum. Look like I rolled right out of bed. It's been so busy the last few days. But I figured I would give you a stream before going to bed tonight. Because it's been a few days. It's been a while since I could live stream some NASCAR crashes. Let's get up to speed. There goes Earnhardt whizzing by at probably 240. Nope. You're kind of rusty, R Wallace, that. Oh, he's up on the banking and off the banking. Oh, I went a little too far, a little too close to Lake Lloyd there. A little too close to Lake Lloyd. Yeah, I went too far to the infield. And the banking is kind of see through a little bit for part of it we have all been decent flips I just need to get the right one barrel rolls eh, why is that a tongue twister for me especially when I'm tired but not too many not too many more I'll take like 7 or 8 max but I can't have too many more than that Oops. Well, that's not how I wanted that to work out. That's not how I wanted that to work out. Oh, we got some cars coming. We got some cars coming. We got some cars coming. We just got obliterated. I need to find a version of Daytona where you can get outside the track on the outside. Every older version I've found has an invisible wall. For future reenactments, I need to find a version of Daytona where you can go to the outside. If anyone knows of one, that would be a amazing help. By the way, I've been so behind the loop, I don't even know who won today's Michigan race. No! Screw you, 94. You messed up my flip. That was still a cool 
wreck. But he messed up my spin towards the infield. Sent me back to the outside. Alright, next. Awesome, Larson did win. Sweet. I knew he had the pull. Didn't he win this race last year, too? Awesome. Congrats, Larson. Hopefully that'll make it. Oh, no! He took out my right front. I'm down the right front. I'm spinning around helplessly. All right, we'll try that again. Let's go uh, on board for this attempt. It's the same thing. Just try to spin the car out coming out of two. Back before the cars had restrictor plates. Come on. Come on. End over ended the last part. So that's probably not going to be too good, but I didn't flip too many times. It looked like I went around the right, about the right path, but that was more end over ends than it was barrel rolls. Yeah, that definitely would have been good if I just. Actually. If anything, it can be a future thumbnail. I'll just save that as attempt one. And besides, I don't necessarily want to keep this attempt as the final one. Another reason being is because there's no other cars I'm right behind. Because Anderson was behind a few cars. He might have gotten out of their slipstream com coming out of the turn, and maybe that's how he got loose. And I didn't land upside down either. John Anderson. Flip. Attempt. No, attempt. Attempt. One. Next. I want to try another one on board. Because I like this view. Whoa, we got a wrecked car in front of us pitting. We got a couple cars. Don't hit them. All right. Shoot, except I'm not going to be right behind them. A little bit. That one wasn't bad. Could have been worse. I kind of rusty Wallace did again. Kind of flipped and then twisted and dug in. Yeah, I got too close to the embankment again. I need to kind of stay right in the middle down here. Closer over here. <clears throat> What wheel do I use? This is the Logitech G920. The one meant for PC slash Xbox One. I bought this thing about a year ago. It was $299 on Amazon Prime shipped. So just under $300. With no shipping. No extra for shipping. Amazon Prime. I'm back on the track, I think. Yep. Uh-oh. We got cars coming. Whoa. We got more cars coming. That is scary. All right, let's take a look at the replay of that one. I was wondering how I started flipping. Just dug in a little bit into the grass. Got way off the ground right there. All right, I'll go back to Chase View for this next one. Don't go over 70. Keep it under. 
For those of you just joining in and wondering why the hell I'm going so fast, I have tweaked some settings. The wind speed is way up, track temperature is way down, the asphalt and concrete grip are a little bit adjusted, so is the grass grip. And I think that's it. Nope. Does that count as a save? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try that again. Oh, wait. And now I'll try it again. Right after we watch that replay. <laughs> Look at me just causing all sorts of carnage. Yeah, I'm probably going to want to change that grass grip at some point. I don't know why it was turned up. It was from a previous video, I believe. Alright, next. I could not imagine turning over one of these cars at this speed back in this era of safety. I just he just had a simple shoulder strap and open faced helmet. He's basically street clothes. He's nuts. Oh. Nope. Still turning over. He kind of pulled a Michael Waltrip in the dirt. Kind of spun around a little bit and then finally dug in. We're fresh off some rain. That's why the track is so grippy. <laughs> Not so fast. Oops. Didn't mean to hit the wall, but I'll take it. That was interesting. We'll take a look at the replay. Not what I was going for. Alright, I think I'm going to restart the happy hour session so I can get some cars scattered back on the track and get rid of those tire marks. Should I change the grass grip? No, I'll do that in a little bit. I'll do that at 11.30, halfway through the video these sub-zero arctic temperatures and the highest recorded wind speed bar none ever on earth the cars would just be floating away like leaves <laughs> right. hopefully I'm trying to tuck in behind a few cars right as I'm coming out of turn two Looks like we got some coming behind me, but I don't know if they're going to be past me by the time I need to start spinning out. Right here. Hey, I actually spun naturally right there. Oh, I was hoping he'd land on his side. Because I believe he landed on his side in real life. That one actually wasn't terrible. I actually lost control completely on accident that time. That was just getting loose off the turn. That one actually wasn't terrible. That would have been amazing if he landed on his side. I'll just save that as attempt to. Why not? What have I got to lose? Because he did mostly barrel rolls and he almost landed on his side right there. Alright. John Anderson. Mr. Anderson. Flip. Attempt to. Okay. Next. 
left. We got some cars coming. I actually might gonna hit the brakes a little bit. Wait for these cars four seconds back to catch up. Let's go for a swim. Whee! It's the Jesus Mobile. He can drive on water. Alright, I'm done goofing around. <laughs> Alright. Back to serious crashing, Cody. Speed right around the time we can tuck in behind a small group of cars. Actually, right here. Oh darn it! If I didn't hit the wall there, that would have been the perfect opportunity. Oops! Just hit the outside wall hard head on. Oh my goodness. I think that deserves a replay. Yes, I was trying to cause a big accident there. If that wasn't obvious. I think the 91 got the worst of it. Or the 31, sorry, because he's still tumbling. And one downside to have then the track temperature so low is it makes the. literally makes the track like ice, so that's why you have to turn the asphalt and concrete grip up a little bit to compensate. And also it makes me a little easier to kind of. for me to goof around on these reenactment streams. Nope. Not quite what we needed. The start of that was looking good. I got just about the right amount of airborne in about the right spot. But he never hit the banking and bounced off of it. cars I'd be behind. That was a, I think a few too many tumbles. I don't think he flipped quite that many times. Definitely never went that high in the air. Alrighty. Whoa! That was close. I almost hit that. First car in pit road. Didn't mean to hit the wall there. Ah, uh, darn it. That ending was kind of weird, but the start of the flip actually looked not bad. Except for that wall hit right there.
Because that's the key. I'm trying to go fast enough to get in, to get airborne and do a blow over. But when I'm going this fast, the possibility of doing like 20 flips is a lot higher as opposed to just like the five or six I need. I see landed upside down. That's the only reason I'm saving this one. All right. So in four more minutes, I'll try changing some track settings. Don't go over 70. I'm not going to really be behind any cars this attempt. Alright, I need to stop hitting that wall. Let's go for a, another swim. He's not driving on it this time. Alright, that's not even worth a replay. Back to serious crashing. Don't merge yet. I need to find some different sponsor. Not sponsor. Spotter audio files soon. Oops. Uh, that one wasn't even close in any regards. I was having better luck when I was on when I had the cockpit view. I'm gonna try that again. I just did like a complete end over end and landed hard down on the back end if I was interpreting that cockpit view correctly. Yeah, here's where the ends over end start. Yep, he landed down hard on the back. That's what I thought. That would have probably been a broken spine. If that one impact broke Eric Amarola's back, God knows what that would have done. Alright, so we've got a couple cars coming up that'll be just passing me right when I'm about to spin out. Come on, come on, come on. It's looking good so far. Looking good so far. Don't flip too many times. We'll keep barrel rolls. Not too many times. Land upside down. Land upside down. Land on that side. Side. No! That was decently close. I wanted to land on the side or upside down. But from what I could interpret, that was not a bad attempt. Blow over. Kind of. Barrel rolls. Side over side. End over end. It's a little close to the banking, but not quite. Ah, oh, darn it. I think. I mean, that was decent, but I don't think it's any closer than the other three I've saved, so. Let's actually see how fast we can go and try to go like 240. Let's just spin out in the trial bowl at 240. Just for giggles. Just for shits and giggles. 250. Oh. 
Keep it off the wall. Darn it. Nope. I want someone to spin me out in the trial bullet. 240 miles an hour. Jeez. That was an inadvertently hard crash. I got hit on the right side and sent over barrel rolling. Slide on my roof by the one car and then the other one slammed me into the wall and sent me upside down from the impact. Alright, so there's the first one sent me upside down and then this one piled driving me into the wall. Alright, back to Sirius. Oh, 11.31. Alright, after this attempt I'll try changing some settings. Looks like we got some cars that might be passing me at the right time too right here. Nope. Got too close to the banking. Of course, at that, that, that time, where he gets too close to the banking, he lands upside down. Alright, so we will try changing some settings around in the track I and I file. Alright, exit, get out of the car, abandon. Okay. Alright, so on the left we have all my backup tracks. Here we have my game folder tracks. Let's go to Daytona Light version. Or Daytona version. Ah, 1970 version 2. There we go. Learn English, Cody. Alright, so tr Grass Grip. 1.2. I think the concrete grip is good where it's at. I'm going to turn the temperature down just a tad, though. Alright. See if those few tweaks do anything. Alright, loading the game back up. There's a bug in here. I think it just flew into my eye. I don't know if you could see that. <laughs> Alrighty. So we'll load the same stuff back up as we did before. Actually, just, just going to turn these guys all the way down just so they're going as slow as possible, even though they're still going to be going ridiculously fast. Happy hour, cloudy, perfect. Accelerate, just so we can get some cars spread out on the track. Alright, let's try this again. Yeah, they're still going ridiculously fast. Actually, do I want the track, uh, the grass grip to be higher if I want the car to get slowed down quicker? I have no idea. Oh, now we're going in the water. And over ending in the lake. Not a bad way to spend a Sunday afternoon. Alright, perfect. 
perfect. Oops. Nope. Came back onto the track. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Alright, let's try that again. Yes, I know there's too much speed. Any less, and it's hard to do blowovers with the Arrow 88 mod. That's why I'm purposely going this fast. They ran around 190, 200, 205 back then, so this isn't that far out of their range. Nope, too close to the banking. In fact, resting on the banking. Too, too far to the infield that time. Alright, try again. I swear I've had... The best luck I've had is when I was racing in cockpit view. So try that again. Hit like 205, 210 before I spin out. So I'm not... Still going below the world record speed for a super speedway. That was weird. I think I might have seen another car spinning out behind me. I'm not quite sure. Or I might have just been seeing things. Yeah, never mind. I guess I was just seeing things. I might have just saw the tow truck. Well, that's a strange way to flip. Maybe if I was trying to recreate Davy Ellison's Daytona 500 flip. He didn't flip too many times, but he didn't flip the right way. He, me, whatever the correct pronoun is. It's kind of closer to Rusty Wallace 1983. Ish. Yeah, kind of. to like around 205 try to bring it around come on come on nope hope you brought your swim trunks let's go back to chase view let's switch back and forth between the two I like cockpit view. I know everyone else likes chase view. Now those are like perfect flips and of course he's going to land upside down but I flipped way too many times. Oh, that one was like perfect. Aside from flipping way too many times. Because I was like, I didn't go too far to the infield. It's mostly barrel rolls. I landed upside down. That was just too many times. I'll still save it though. Because aside from just being too many times, and I wasn't really 
behind a pack of cars when I spun out. Like he was in real life, but... Aside from that, that one was decently close. Ish. Kind of. Sort of. Yes, I know I didn't start the blowover the right way, but I've... Unless you got helping, someone helping you with the spin, I've yet to get like a complete sideways, side to side, have the roof dig in and then start flipping back over again. I've never had one of those, except for when another car has been pushing me. Flippo. Alright, next. Limit 70. Whoa. I got startled by Earnhardt. I swore back into the wall. Not really. But. Right, looks like we're going to have some cars coming up to pass us. Nope. That one's not even worth a replay. I think we saw a really similar one to that one before. I did see Danica's wreck today. I gotta say, I've never been a fan of hers, but you gotta admit, she has some pretty bad luck. As much as she wrecks, a lot of them aren't her fault. Today, she was in the complete wrong spot at the wrong time. Now that one, the start of the flip was perfect. I almost did do a side-to-side -side blow over there, except I ended up in Lake Lloyd. <laughs> All the tire marks from the previous attempts. Yeah, see this time I went too close to the infield and ended up in Lake Lloyd. Oops, into the wall first. Whoa. Car still fine after that, somehow? Apparently. It's still pretty fast. Let's get a flip in the trial oval. Because why not? Oops. Not quite. Alright, next attempt. Limit seven. Keep it under four five hundred in second. Two oh five, so between two oh five and two ten. I think I flipped too many times. So there is a fly. I wasn't just imagining that before. That one actually wasn't too bad if I would have just landed on my side or upside down. Ah. 
Ron Earnhardt, I need you to pass me. We're in the lake. We are in the lake. Keep it under 4500 seconds. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 4500 seconds. Okay, you're clear of pit lane. Don't yet. That's the same year he rolled in Pocono. That same car. Trying an aggressive maneuver, I believe, on Tim Richmond. And ended up biting him in the ass when he ended up upside down. Alright, I don't think that one was even close. Maybe if I have to do a part two, I'll try turning the temperature down a little bit more. I don't know if I need to quite be going this fast. Whoa! That was a hard wreck. Ooh. They won't stop crashing into me. Oh, I just see a. Someone just flipped hard against the outside wall. <laughs> you all, right? all right, we got a little bit of replay to look at. All right, so this guy nails me when I'm tumbling. Sends me spinning like a top. Then these other cars are able to slow down for the most part, but still hit me. And I almost get sent in. Then I did this on purpose, if you couldn't tell. I think it was that blue and white car that I saw tumbling way off in the distance. David Marcus. Yep. Yeah, that's what I saw right there, is him tumbling into the wall. Alright, next. Limit 70. Keep it under 4500 in second. Stupid Kyle Petty ruined it. That one actually wasn't terrible. I just the start of the blowover wasn't quite right. And I didn't land upside down, but the flips themselves, there was about the right number. Two, three, four, like yeah, five. That was about the right number of flips. Just need to land upside down or on my side. Limit 70. Keep it under 4500. Oh, darn it. I didn't get loose. Well, thanks, Dale. Thanks for the help, but I think I overshot when I was supposed to do it. Aw. Right, next. Trial and error process.
few too many times. Not on his roof or side. And that's the hardest part about some of these wrecks. Is to get him to land the right way. If you're, you have him flipping. Not quite. A perfectionist. Or a kind of goodest. I wouldn't call myself a perfectionist, but I'm trying to get the best one possible. I kept it off the wall there. either except I landed too close to the track. Is my car fine after that? Oh. No big time problems with my motor. I still got up to 150 pretty quick. Let's try to cause a big one coming into the trioval. Right here. Kind of. Limit 70. Keep it under 4,500 in second. Big roll coming into the pits. Calamity Corner strikes again. Alright, I'll stop goofing around. Back to the backstretch flips. I know this is a real stretch, but do you know what this reminded me of? Does anyone remember Mark Thompson? Does that name ring a bell? I believe it was 1996 on the backstretch of Talladega. An ARCA race. He got out of control. No, someone else got out of control, clipped him, which sent him up and over. He was skidding around on his roof for a little bit, and then when he got into the grass, he tumbled a bunch of times and landed super hard flush down with the bottom of the car. Yeah, that's kind of what this reminded me of. I know it's a little bit of a stretch. Wrong track, wrong spot, wrong mod, wrong car number, wrong driver. Just the flip itself looked a little similar. I think my imagination is wandering a little too much at this point. I've been streaming too long. Weight shift, grass rollover, or 94, yeah, that's right. Whoa. I think I just avoided getting drilled by a car, but I probably take, took his roof off. Was that Bobby Allison? No, wasn't that car. Yeah, fortunately this is just a game, because that probably wouldn't have ended too well for whoever the driver was of the 25. Considering that left, or that right rear tire would have gone straight through his windshield. Alright, I'm getting a little too, my mind is wandering. Starting to get distracted. And I got five more minutes to try my hardest to get this down. Alright. That was interesting. Landed straight down on the wheels after those really high up in the air barrel rolls. I 
That was a hard landing. Eric Amarola can tell you that. Alright guys, this is probably my third to last attempt for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. For all you subscribers, thank you so much for the support. For those of you new to my videos, if you're... If you like the videos, oh, that doesn't count as an attempt. That doesn't count as an attempt. Got another one. If you like these videos and want notifications for future live streams, all right. I'm, if you uh, hit the subscribe button right after you do that, a little bell button will pop up next to it. If you hit that, then you'll get updates for future live streams. Thanks, guys, for all your support. And we'll get to the last three attempts here. Whoa, Neil. Whoa, Neil. Oops. Hit the wall first. Yeah, too many flips. Too many. Alright, try again. Yes, I will do a big one. Sounded wrong. I will create a large wreck. <laughs> no! Alright. That one doesn't count either. This is still my second attempt. Second to last one, I mean. Don't merge yet. I'll merge whenever I goddamn want. My super fast car that can accelerate up to 220 in a heartbeat. In Lake Lloyd once again. Once again. That was kind of like... That was almost exactly like Dave Stacy's flip into Lake Lloyd. Minus being airborne right there. I believe that was 1996. Alright. For the last attempt, I'll redo the happy hour session. Yeah, if someone can find me that Dave Stacy 1996 Lake Lloyd crash car, I would love to try that one. Come on, come on. Alright. Let's cause a big crash. Let's get a roster that actually has a full field. Oops. Where's the full field? I guess 88. Kind of a little iffy for these car sets, the ones that I've transferred over for the physics for the Cup 88 versus just the regular Arrow 88 mod. If you guys know what I mean. Alright, we're gonna do one forwards, one backwards. The forwards one first. I'm gonna wait for the cars to come around the backstretch. I'm gonna get up to speed with them, hopefully coming out of turn four and try to cause a massive wreck going the correct way, entering the tri-oval. Then I'll do the same going the wrong way. Ugh. This chair is a lot more comfortable than that really old one I had, but still get sort of sit still in this thing for an hour straight plus. All right. 
Alright, just waiting for that green flag. Waiting to see the cars start to come around behind me in the standings. The split time. Try to get up to speed so they can be catching me when I'm getting up to speed just coming out of turn four. Because I don't want to be going 250 for all four turns because I will spin out before we get to the trial. We'll, that's why I'm doing it this way. Right when they're around 10, I'll get on the gas. 10 seconds behind. there not more cars involved. Well, I guess towards the end, they started piling in. I guess it wasn't as bad as I initially thought it was going to be. If that pace car was solid, it would have just killed the 52. Alright, now let's try going the wrong way. We'll have a lot better results this time. Stupid grass grip was turned up a little bit, that's why I was having trouble spinning out that car. And yeah, they started piling in pretty good at the end there, but not as good as I would have liked. A lot better going the wrong way this time. So like usual, I'm going to come flying out of pit road the wrong way and drill the leaders right as they're coming into the trial bowl. Who are the unlucky leaders? Bobby Hillen Jr. and good old Rusty Wallace. Speed. And get them right as they're coming out of the turn four into the trial bowl this way. You've been disqualified for reckless driving. Watch that speed now. Keep it on 4500. That's a good one. That's a big one. That's what she said. I think all but like four or five cars got involved in that. My, so I watch my computer's lagging a little bit. Yeah, those cars you see off in the distance are all that survived unscathed. Yeah, there's so much wrecking and action going on, my computer's starting to lag a little bit. Yeah, here's one more replay. We'll do slow motion. Oh, you can see a wreck happening in the background already. Whoa! The number five was upside down before I even did anything. Did you see that? Was that Bodine? Yeah. Yeah, back here, the number five was upside down before I even did anything. Two separate wrecks. Wow. That would have been bad for Jeff Bodine. Look how his roof hit Rusty Wallace's the front of his car. Boom. Where's 
Where's that 52 car? Or 25, I think. Is that Ken Schrader? Yeah, he's the one I just clipped and sent over, tumbling in front of everyone. And they just keep piling in in the back. Neil Bonnet up on his side. Alright, let's get one more view. Let's keep piling in. Alrighty. Hit the like button if you enjoyed that wreck. More for that, or more of that to come. If you hit the subscribe button, check out my other videos. I got, as you can see, I'm approaching 200, <laughs> 200 live streams just for this alone, let alone all the other miscellaneous videos I've done. So if you like this, check out my other videos. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. Please hit the like button. Check out my social media links down in the description. And until next time, I hope to see you then. Have a good rest of your day. Peace. Bye.